There we are. Half a day and welcome to Guam Congress building. We're honored today to be here for a resolution presentation to recognize and congratulate Ms. Rosemann Moiko Sogo An on the occasion of her retirement from the Guam Behavioral Health and Wellness Center after serving as a psychiatric nurse three and commending her for her 45 years of outstanding services to the people of Guam. That's quite incredible. And um, we are joined today by Director Therese Ariola and our nurse practitioner, Dr. Carla Haddock. And acting administ nurse administrator. Oh, and acting nurse administrator at the Guam Behavioral Health and Wellness Center. So thank you for joining us. And uh, of course, Ms. Roseman's family is also here, her husband and her two children. And, uh, and I'm very honored that you are here to join us as well. Thank you. And of course, we are joined uh, in our audience today by other members of the Guam Behavioral Health and Wellness team who have recently retired and who have really contributed uh, to the great need on Guam. So thank you very much. And of course, we're joined by one of the supervisors over at S uh, Child Protective Services who, who is leading us in our response to, to critical needs on Guam. All of you together are helping us to address those needs and have helped for 45 years to address those needs. So we're very honored today. Um, we want to thank you, of course, Ms. Roseman, and congratulate and celebrate with you this, this retirement. I, um, you know, it's, uh, as a nurse, I'm sure you've had many options over the years and high demand of going elsewhere. I'm sure that you've had many offers, and that, uh, but that you have dedicated your service to Guam Behavioral Health and Wellness Center. You said you love it, and that I'm, I think that's a great honor for all of us, and it has lifted all of us up over all these years. So I'm going to read the resolution because I think it's um, very important, the, the success of Guam Behavioral Health and Wellness Center, and of course, of, built upon each of its employees. So this is resolution 336-36. And it's um, sponsored by myself and all of the senators of the, the 36th Guam legislature. Whereas, Rosemann Moiko Sogo An, also known as Miss Rosemann, Ate Rosemann, Mama Rosemann, or Rose, was born on June 2, 1954, in South Cotabato, Philippines. She and her husband of 44 years, that's also a feat. <laughs> yes. Congratulations. Santiago Soko An have three children, Sharifa, Cheryl, and Randy. In 1970, Rosemann Moiko Soko An graduated from the Coronadal National Comprehensive High School in Coronadal, South Cotabato, Philippines. And in 1972, she completed her nursing pre credentials at the University of St. Augustine in Iloilo City, Philippines. In 1975, Rosemann completed requirements to become a graduate nurse at St. Anthony's College School of Nursing in Rojas City, Philippines. From May to November, May 75 to November 76, she worked as a clinic nurse at Tantangan Public Health. From December 1976 to December 1977, she worked as a staff nurse at St. Anthony Hospital in Rojas City. From January 78 to June 79, she worked as a staff nurse at St. Paul's Hospital in Iloilo. And in 1979, she obtained her Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree from the Central Philippine University in Iloilo City, Philippines. Rosemann relocated to Guam in 1981 and on, in 1982 began her Government of Guam public service career, accepting position to serve as an inhalation therapy technician one at the Guam Memorial Hospital Authority. In May of 1983, she was promoted to an inhalation therapy technician two position. In 1984, Roseman obtained her licensed practical nurse licensure, and on August 1984, accepted a position to serve as a licensed practical nurse one with the Department of Mental Health and, Su and Substance Abuse, now known as the Guam Behavioral Health and Wellness Center. On January 1986, she received a promotion to a licensed practical nurse two position. And in February 1992, she was promoted to a psychiatric nurse three position. 
On September 30, 2006, Roseman retired from the Guam Behavioral Health and Wellness Center as a psychiatric nurse three. And recognizing the critical need for nurses on Guam, Roseman Moiko Sogoan returned to rendering her ser nursing services at the Guam Behavioral Health and Wellness Center in July 2008. And throughout her nursing career at the Guam Behavioral Health and Wellness Center, Roseman served detailed appointments as the psychiatric nurse supervisor, and she had provided coverage as a psychiatric nurse administrator on several occasions. She also received numerous recognitions and acknowledgments to include outstanding performance evaluations, a certificate of appreciation for being the employee of the year in 1990, a letter of con commendation for assisting with Mental Health Awareness Month, and in 2000, Roseman received a certificate of recognition from the Guam Nurses Association as a nominee for her honorary nursing practice in outpatient nursing. And as a nurse, Roseman is known for her punctuality, impeccable infection control work area measures, her meticulous image projection skills, and systemic orderliness. And on May 7, 2022, Roseman Moiko Sogoan officially retired from the Guam Behavioral Health and Wellness Center as a psychiatric nurse three after serving 45 years in the government of Guam. Now, therefore, be it resolved that Emina Trentai Sais and the Turn Guahan does hereby, on behalf of the people of Guam, recognize and congratulate Ms. Roseman Moiko Sogoan on the occasion of her retirement from the Guam Behavioral Health and Wellness Center after serving as a psychiatric nurse three, and commend her for 45 years of outstanding service to the people of Guam. We're so proud of you and so grateful. And this is the, so on behalf of the people of Guam, I'd like to present that to you. And thank you and your family for all, all that you have done. And I know it's a big um, sacrifice you know, from family time to serve in this type of position. And so I want to thank you so much for that. And if you don't mind, Roseman, um, oh, sorry, we'll, we'll, we'll get a, a photo. And then I'm going to have the director say a few words. Oh, uh, don't move that too far. Hear from the director Teresa Ariola of the of the Department of uh, or the Guam Behavioral Health and Wellness Center. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and thank you so much for taking the time to honor one of our retirees. Um, unfortunately, Guam Behavioral Health has had several nursing retirees, but um, I have told them all that uh, take a long break and consider coming back, even for even if it's part time. So uh, I just want to say that we're very, um, it's bittersweet because nursing is such in high demand. And so as much as we understand the decision for people to move on perhaps in the second chapter of their life, um, we just want to say to Roseman, um, words cannot express how, how valuable you are to us. Um, your family at Guam Behavioral Health and Wellness Center is going to miss you tremendously. But hopefully, maybe after some time, uh, you might want to consider coming back, as I mentioned, part-time. But thank you so much for your service, and uh, know you always have a home at Guam Behavioral Health. Thank you. Thank you, Director. Thank you, Director. And 45 years is quite an accomplishment. And I'd like to ask Ms. Roseman if she wouldn't mind to also say a few words. <laughs> We like to know how you did it. <laughs> uh, yes, you know, this is a bittersweet. That's what the director said. You know, um, again, you know, for the long years that, you know, I worked at the department, I learned to love the department. I love working the department. That's why it's really, it, it hurts me to leave. Uh, part of me uh, is still, yeah, the desire, you know, to, to serve, you know, to work, you know, is still there. You know, I always, I'm always concerned of coverage, 
you know, who is going to work, you know, right now. So, uh, but anyhow, uh, thank you for everything. Um, thank you also for uh, recruiting me again, <laughs> shall I say. Uh, I, will, I will think about that, you know. Um, take time. Yeah, I will take time <laughs> first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So uh, anyway, um, for my family, Thank you also for uh, being supportive. You know, I know I, uh, I'm, some, you know, especially you know in the morning. You know, sometimes you know I'm really stressed. You know, going to work because you know, I have, I have to be at work. You know, on time. You know, so uh, thank you very much. And again, uh, Miss Carla, director, yeah, uh, Speaker Terlahi. Thank you very much. Okay. That will conclude our ceremony, but thank you again and congratulations. It was massive. Yeah.